Hi, I'm Sylvia Spiva, Cisco Developer Community Manager. I'm here with a very special guest, Roger. Hi, my name is Roger Dickinson. I work out of the CTO office in the uh, UK and I'm a developer evangelist. Busy, busy team. You guys are always working. Tell us about your most recent weekends. Yeah, so uh, our team covers all emerging technologies, so anything from AI, blockchain, virtual reality. We also run a lot of events, so like hackathons. So some of the recently, in fact last weekend, we did an all-women uh, hackathon, which is an Athena hack, where we were getting um, attendees to code against WebEx teams. And the theme of that hack was um, to solve the problem of plastics in oceans. And they were including WebEx and chatbots into their, their solutions, which was, which was really good. Um, a couple of months ago, we did another hack for um, children for ages from 13 to 18. And again, this was a chatbot base, but they were asked to build a, a cheeky chatbot, which was anything but helpful for Evil Corp. And uh, the, kids, the kids were just amazing. I, it was one of the most fulfilling times at Cisco for me to actually see these kids and let loose on technology. And, and they were just phenomenal. And the things they came up with were, were just crazy and uh, really inspiring. You know, it's a real treat to see you in person. I know that I see you in person sometimes, but most of what I see is you through your art. Yeah. And I'm starting to see some similarities between some of your characters, and I won't say which one just yet. But tell us about your art, because I know you're really passionate about that. Yeah, so when I'm not evangelizing, I, um, I, I do cartoon and animation. And I've been doing it for a few, few years now. And I have some characters, Captain Cloud, API Girl, Carl the Net DevOps engineer. And uh, I try and use my art and my animation to engage with people in a different way. And that could be just through stickers. I've now got an animation series uh, that we're, we're, we're doing. And in all of my presentations, you will always get a cartoon of some description. I want to know more about that, what is it, doctor, machine learning, artificial intelligence, the guy with the glasses? Oh, okay, so, so the new character is, is Dr. VR. So one of my focuses for the last uh, number of months is uh, virtual reality. Uh, so I created a character, uh, Dr. VR, who, who's been living in virtual reality for the last six months and he's not come out, um, which has had a bit of an effect on him. Um, but yeah, virtual reality is a big topic um, and I'm actually talking about it uh, this afternoon. And virtual reality is one of those classic examples of where applications meet infrastructure because virtual reality is an application needs very specific infrastructure requirements. You need a lot of processing power, so you need GPUs everywhere to deliver that content. You need smart, intelligent networks to actually push the content to the users where, wherever they are, whether they're in an office or in a remote location, wearing their head-mounted displays. So you need intelligent infrastructure to be able to do that because one thing you can't, in virtual reality, afford is sensori in sensorial misalignment, which in other words is motion sickness, which is what you can get if you're your infrastructure isn't delivering. So if you're, I move my head, my, the images in my head-mounted display have to move exactly at the same time, otherwise I'm going to start to feel ill. And that is not a good advert <laughs> for virtual reality if people are feeling ill when they're using it. I've loved DevNet Crate. This is my first DevNet Crate. There's a great buzz. It's very different to like a Cisco Live and there's a lot of energy, a lot of creativity here. And yeah, I absolutely love it. It's been an awesome time. Thanks very much for letting me be here. Thank you.